Terrific. Thanks very much, uh, PM, to my uh, federal ministerial colleagues, uh, Michael, uh, to, to your team at Moderna, uh, to Minister Jala Pulford, uh, who has uh, led this project from Victoria's perspective. So my thanks to Jala, uh, to all our medical leaders, Deb, and uh, everyone in this room um, who have just been brilliant through particularly this uh, last two years with the pandemic. Uh, as far as announcements go, this is a big one. Uh, this is a huge announcement and it's incredibly exciting for Victoria uh, and, as the PM said, for our nation. Uh, when you think about medical research and biotechnology, think about Boston, think about London and you think about Melbourne. This is the place to be. Boston, London and Melbourne, the three great leading cities when it comes to medical research and biotechnology. Uh, in Melbourne and Victoria, uh, 30,000 jobs in uh, medical research, biotechnology across our industry, uh, universities and institutes such as the Doherty, and thank you for hosting us today. 40% uh, of the nation's medical tech and biotech companies are based here in Melbourne, and 60% of the nation's pharmaceutical exports come from Victoria. Uh, so this is a great announcement, and it's the logical place to do it. And you think about what this means, uh, national security in terms of vaccine supply. And when you think about uh, mRNA, uh, this is a huge announcement because this is the first time in the Southern Hemisphere that we'll have mRNA manufacturing based uh, in this nation. And uh, 25 million uh, vaccines, the ability to ramp up to 100 million, and it's not just in regards to vaccine developments, where, whether it's vari variants of uh, coronavirus right now, uh, pandemics of the future, but beyond, beyond that, uh, treatment of cancer, treatment of rare diseases, um, this is a massive game changer. And to have uh, that manufacturing uh, capacity, the research capacity right here in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, um, is a great thing. This will create jobs. Uh, 1,000 jobs, 500 in construction, 500 ongoing. Uh, but beyond that, it saves lives. Uh, whether it's dealing with a pandemic, uh, treatment of cancer, treatment of rare diseases, uh, this is a major, major announcement. My thanks, uh, PM, to the Commonwealth uh, and to Moderna. Uh, this is a great deal for citizens right across this country. Uh, just in closing, can I just back up what the PM was saying about uh, the import, importance of booster shots. You know, we are not out of this pandemic. And uh, all the evidence in terms of uh, Omicron, all the evidence points to the importance of booster shots. Uh, the, uh, the date has been brought forward, so it's five months uh, from your second dose. Uh, if you are due for your booster shot, please get it done. If you have not been vaccinated yet, please go and do it. Uh, and from my role as uh, Minister for Education, the paediatric vaccine, the rollout for five to 11 year olds. Um, and great news that it's available from January. Great comfort to parents. We've got to get our kids vaccinated before we head into winter uh, next year. So uh, we are not out of this yet. We need to get the booster shots done. We need to get our kids vaccinated and we'll work with the Commonwealth to make sure we get that done as quickly as possible. But back to this announcement, great partnership, a great deal. It will save lives. It will provide national security in terms of vaccine supply. And we're just delighted to be partnering up and delivering this uh, as we are the home of medical research and biotechnology.